So in this video, I am going to show you how to crochet this cute amigumi bee. She is called Ruth and I have chosen to make her in a yellow main color and with pink stripes, but you can choose whatever yarn and colors that you prefer. If you prefer to follow a written pattern, you'll find it in the description down below. To crochet this bee, you will need yarn, cotton yarn preferably, or something else if you prefer to use that. I'm using a recycled cotton yarn called Karma Cotton from Kremke Wool. And you will need a crochet hook. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle, some pins. This is very handy for when you assemble your amigumi. And some stuffing. You also need to know how to crochet a magic circle chain stitch, slip stitch, single crochets, increase and decrease, half double crochets and double crochets. If you don't know how to do these stitches, go to my channel and look them up and come back to this video later. So let's start off with making the head of our bee. So we'll start off with a magic ring. <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> a magic ring with six single crochets. So this is how I do it. I make two chain stitches and then I make six single crochets in the second chain from the hook. But you could do whatever preferred magic circle or magic ring that you like. So one, two, three, four, five and six hoops uh, one two three four five and six the head is crocheted with the main color so in my case i've chosen yellow but you can choose whatever color that you prefer so on the second row we are going to crochet six increases until we have 12 stitches So one and two three So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. On the third row we are going to crochet one single crochet and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 18 stitches. So first a single crochet and then a increase. A single crochet and a increase. four or round if you prefer that uh, we are going to crochet two single crochets and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 24 stitches so make one single crochet a second single crochet and a increase and repeat that five more times Next row we are going to crochet three single crochets, one increase and repeat that six times until we have 30 stitches. And this is our last increase row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, tw
So one, two, three, and a increase, and repeat that all the way around. Okay, now we have the right width of our head for our B. So for the next six, seven, eight, nine, four rows, we are going to crochet 30 single crochet, aka one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for four rows. So we have arrived at our last row on the head and this is a decrease row. So we are going to crochet three single crochets, one decrease, repeat that six times until we have 24 stitches. This is so that we get, we get a kind of a neck on our B and that you can uh, see where the head starts and where the Sorry, where the head ends and where the body starts. So uh, let's make three single crochets to begin with. So one, two, and three, and a decrease. I'm going to make, um, what are they called? They are called, um, invisible decreases that I recently learned and really like. So uh, a decrease and then one, two, three single crochets and a decrease once more. And then you just continue until you arrive at the beginning slash end. And that was our last stitch. So now we just cut off the yarn. You don't really have to leave so much because we are going to weight both yarn ends in. Let's actually do that right now. So we don't leave it to the end because we all know that it's not that fun to wave in a lot of yarn ends by the end. But if you have already started and taken one part at the time, it it is the assembling is so much easier. <laughs> so let's do it now. And 
and then we just have to stuff it. So the next part we are going to crochet is the body and for that you will need the main color that you want to work with and a contrasting color for the stripes and I have chosen to go with yellow for the main body and pink for the stripes. So let's start off with a magic circle and a magic circle with four single crochets. So two chains and four single crochets in the second chain from the hook. and four and on the next row we are going to crochet four increases until we have eight stitches <laughs> There we have row number two. On the third row we are going to crochet one single crochet, one increase and repeat that four times until we have 12 stitches. So one single crochet and a increase and repeat that three more times. And on row number four we are going to crochet two single crochet and one increase and repeat that four times until we have 16 stitches. So one, two and a increase. And repeat that until you arrive at the beginning slash end. And on row number five, we are going to crochet three single crochets, one increase. Repeat that four times until you have 20 stitches. So one. Two, three, and a increase. And here we are going to crochet on row number six four single crochets and one increase, and repeat that four times until we have. 24 stitches. So one, two, three, four, and a increase. So that was our final increase row before the stripes. So there are a couple of increase rows left, but we are going to, at this point, change color to our contrasting one. So 
So in my case, pink, but in your case, it might be white or black or blue or something totally different like this. Okay, so we are going to crochet, continue crocheting on the body, but at the same time, uh, change color after each two rows. So now we are going to crochet two pink rows and then I'm going to change color to yellow and crochet two yellow rows and so on. So on the next row, on row number seven, we are going to crochet five single crochets and one increase and repeat that four times until we have 28 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and a increase. Next row, row number eight, we are going to crochet 13 single crochets and one increase and repeat that two times until we have 30 stitches. And this is our last increase row. Two and three, four, So I'm not going to end this stitch because we have now crocheted two rows of the stripe color and now it's time to change the color again. So I'm going to finish the last stitch by changing colors. So now it's time for some regular rows with single crochets. So seven rows with 30 uh, single crochets aka one single crochet in each stitch for seven rows and while we are crocheting that we are continuously making the stripes so after two rows you change colors again and after two rows you change color again and so on yeah let's continue Okay, so this is how the body should look like after seven rows of 30 single crochets on each row. So yeah, now we have a longer body with three stripes. One of them is halfway done and we are going to fix that right now. Because on the last row we are going to crochet three single crochets and one decrease. Repeat that six times until we have 24 stitches. And we are going to do that with the same stripe color that you just ended with so that we get three complete stripes on the body. So 
So one, two, three, and a decrease. One, two, three, and a decrease. And we are done with the body. Now we just have to wave in the ends. Leave this one though for sewing. So keep a um, about 30 centimeters and wave in the rest and then we just stuff it. The body is ready for assembling. Okay, so now it's time to make the eyes. And we're going to start off with a magic circle of six single crochets. And because we want a perfect circle, we are going to end the row with a slip stitch in the first stitch, a chain, and then we continue with row number two, where we are going to crochet six increases until we have 12 stitches. So one, Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Then we cut off the yarn, save some so that you have something to attach your eye to your bee with. Pull the yarn through, and we are going to close the row with a invisible stitch. So put it through the first stitch on the row and go back through your previous stitch like this. And now we have a perfect circle like this. Okay, so uh, the next thing we need to do with our circle is to slip stitch a couple of or surface crochet with slip stitches uh, a eye on our white part so start wherever you want on the circle uh, put your crochet hook through it and pull through your black yarn and go through the next hole and Take the yarn with you and pull it through. And down in the next hole, pull the yarn through. And in the next hole, pull the yarn through. And in the next hole. Like this. 
and I think four is the perfect amount of stitches for this project. And then we just poke the black yarn to the back and wave in all the ends or if you are lazy as me you just tie everything the long one you save the re the rest you can tie together like this and then we just cut up cut off our yarns and we are done a perfect cute little happy eye now we just have to make a second one now we have our two eyes ready for assembling and we can continue with the feelers and those are really really simple we are going to grab black yarn or if you want to have them in any other color feel free to do so we are going to crochet five chain stitches so one two three four and five and then we are going to make an extra chain so actually six and we are going to turn and we are going to make five single crochets with one single crochet in each chain starting from the second chain from the hook two three four come on <laughs> okay let's back up do that one again four and five and then we just cut off the yarn you can actually leave both both yarn ends because we are going to attach them to the head with a knot. So that's why it's good to have both of them left. So now we just make a second one. Okay, so we have actually one part left to make and that is the wings for our bee. So yeah, I'm going to use white yarn, but as usual, you can use whatever color you like. We're going to start off with crocheting eight chain stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep them pretty loose. And then we're going to turn, skip the first stitch and crochet around our chain. So we are going to start off by making two slip stitches. So one and two. Then we are going to make two single crochets. One and two. And then we are going to crochet two half double crochets so one and two and now we have arrived at our last chain and in that chain we are going to crochet five double crochets So one two three three 
and no worries if the hole is getting big because we can always tighten it and four and then five like this and now we are actually going to turn your piece and crochet in the back loops of your chains so in the next chain so not the one that we made our double crochets but the next one we are going to make a half double crochet and then a second half double crochet in the next one and then we are going to crochet two single crochets And two slip stitches. And there is our first wing. Cut up the yarn, save some so that you have something to attach the wing to the body with, and wave in the other yarn end. So let's do that first and then make a second one. Okay, so the next thing we are going to go do is to assemble our bee. And here we have all the parts. The other thing you need to have is a darning needle and maybe some additional stuffing. Let's start off with uh, attaching the head to the body. Let's remove the dog here first. <laughs> so. Uh, there are exactly the same amount of stitches on the last row of the body and last row of the head. So it it um, should be pretty easy to assemble. So you take one stitch from the head, one stitch from the body. one stitch from the head and one from the body and be sure to pull the stitches pretty tight so that we get doesn't get any holes anywhere some more stuffing before we close the gap. to stuff my amigumis pretty firmly but if you want a squishier softer one you just stuff it a little bit less and let's stitch up the rest 
of the hole that we have left. then just fasten the yarn end and we are done. We have the head attached to the body and we have a real shape of a bee. It's so cute already. Okay, so the next thing I recommend you to attach is the eyes. So let's use some pin, just pins just to get them in the right place. This always helps. Like this. There is the first one. And then the second one. So we're here. Yeah, that looks fine. And then we just sew them on. We just wave in the ends a little bit, just for safety. first happy eye done let's sew the other one end of 
I like to poke it through a little bit through the body and then just cut off the yarn. And we have a second pair of eyes. Nice! Or second eye. <laughs> So the next thing we are going to attach is the feelers on the head somewhere. And these I actually, if you are smart, you do this before you attach the head to the body. So when you make your second one, do that. I didn't remember it, so I will now just um, attach them here and I will tie them with a knot somewhere. Yeah, that's good. So take both of them and tie. Tie and then we take both of the yarn end, put them on the needle and then poke them through the head and the body so that they get stuck in the amigurumi like this that was fast oh it looks so cute and then the next one And we have two feelers. Now we have only two parts left and that is the wings. And they are attached on the body like this. Uh, highly recommend you to use pins when you attach the wings. Just to get the placement where you want it so that looks fine in my eyes so and because I want them to not be attached like flat to the body I want them to fly around I will only stitch here in the corner of the wing and there in the corner of that wing wing So depending on what yarn and what hook size you use, you can get a smaller bumblebee like this one. This is crocheted with a thinner yarn and a 3.0 millimeter hook and this is crocheted with a 3.5 millimeter hook. So you can actually uh, yeah, change the size of your bee just by changing the yarn and the hook. 
I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to check out the written pattern in the description down below. And yeah, let me know in the comments what colors you are going to make your bumblebee wreath in. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.